So believe it or not, I have never purchased a bag secondhand before, and I thought it was about time that we fixed that. Before we get into it though, if this is the first time seeing my face, hello, my name is Brandon, and around here you can expect videos on a variety of fabulous topics, including fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, and unboxings. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting subscribe, and we will get into today's video. So it's true, I've never purchased a bag secondhand. There's no real reason for it other than just being kind of afraid of either buying a bag that was fake or that showed up in really bad condition and having to deal with returning or disputing um, a sale. So I've just never really gone through the process of purchasing a nicer bag uh, secondhand. But with so many secondhand retailers popping up offering various guarantees about the products that they sell, I thought it was about time that I delved in to the secondhand market and pick up a bag that I've really had my eye on for a while. Just as a hopefully brief aside, I started collecting bags around 2012. Um, a lot of the times they were gifted to me either for the holidays or for my birthday. And for me, I was um, really focusing a lot of my time and my finances on other things. So my purchasing of bags didn't really pick up until um, probably around 2018 when I really started reinvesting in my collection and getting my hands on bags that I've always wanted or styles that I've always wanted to try. That being said, in around 2012, when I first started noticing handbags, there was always one brand that really stuck out to me. I think it was mostly because at the Nordstrom, which is really the only uh, store that we had in my area that sold really nice handbags, this particular brand was always front and center and it was something that at the time was so out of my realm of possibilities that I really lusted after both the silhouette and the brand. Of course, the brand that we're talking about is 3.1 Philip Lim, which does not seem to be super popular nowadays. And in researching for this video and for my bag, um, I didn't really see a lot of content in recent years about it. Um, but that, of course, doesn't scare me away from making a little YouTube video for you guys. So when I started exploring the secondhand market, I thought back to when I first started collecting bags or first started appreciating bags, and I thought, what would, you know, 18-year-old Brandon love to have? And my mind immediately flashed back to 3.1 Philip Lim. So one night I was just scrolling through my phone, switching between the various shopping apps that I have, and I landed on the Real Real and noticed that they were having a 40% off sale of specific handbags. And so I decided to filter through the list of brands that they were offering. And lo and behold, there was 3.1 Philip Lim on the list. And I jumped at the opportunity to get my hands on this bag. And I'm really excited to share it with you. Alrighty, here it is. All wrapped up. Now, full disclosure, I did already inspect this bag. Um, and I'm not sure if this is the story for all the real, real purchases, but it was marked as final sale. And so I wanted to get into the box as soon as I got it to make sure that the bag matched the description and the condition descriptions. So if I had any dispute with them, I could make it timely. Now this package did arrive a few weeks ago and I stuffed the bag to kind of retrain it. Um, so I have seen it and this is more of a uh, first impression for you guys and just a topic of discussion for me. Um, so let's get into it and I will show you which bag I picked up. All right, guys, this is what I picked up. This is the 3.1 Philip Lim Medium Pashley in this absolutely stunning black and white um, embossed leather. This is just an amazing looking bag. I am really drawn to the gunmetal hardware, 
the black and the white. It just, it wasn't a color combination that I knew existed at Philip Lim. At the time, I recall when it was really popular, a lot of black and gold hardware, red and silver hardware, um, but I had never seen this black and white with the gun metal. And as soon as I landed on that page and saw that it was 40% off, I immediately added it to cart. I did wait a day to like, decide if it was something I absolutely had to have. And with the sale, I was like, I need it. One thing that made it so unique to me, at least back in the day, were these gussets here um, that zip down. And once you have them zipped down, it kind of changes the silhouette of the bag just a little bit. And it gives it this kind of wider silhouette. I don't know. I just found this so interesting looking and different from like what I was seeing at the time. And now that I actually have it and I'm like experiencing this bag, um, the gussets are actually kind of strange um, in practicality. You know, it widens the bag here, um, but it does obviously nothing down towards the end. So really the usable space. Um, unless if you're like putting vases in here, I feel like putting vases in here. I don't really see how this kind of tapered, um, I don't know why I'm also gesticulating behind the bag. Um, clearly I would make a terrible weather person. Um, but anyway, I don't really think that these gussets, um, are really add any practicality to the bag. Obviously I think it's more of just like a stylistic thing, but I'm still in love with it. Like it might not actually add any usability or any extra function to this bag, but I think it makes it look so interesting. And I'm just like blown away by this um, silhouette. I just love it so much. Whew. I do have to put it down though, cause it's hurting my shoulder. It's a little heavy with it being stuffed, um, but it is actually like kind of a larger bag. Uh, I wasn't anticipating it being as large as it was. I don't know. I, I saw the dimensions and I thought it would work really good for me for like a day by day bag, you know, like my regular handbag. Um, but it is a little large, so I'm not sure if that's really going to work out for me, but I'm definitely going to try carrying it soon, probably for one of my next weekend vlogs, you'll see me carrying this bag and putting it to the test. I'm really in love with it. I have really been enjoying top handles just by themselves without like a crossbody strap because this bag did not come with the original crossbody strap, which I think was probably why it was such a good deal, but it's really of no concern to me. I really wanted this as soon as I saw it. I think it's really stunning. So I'm excited to give it a try, maybe with the gussets zipped up so it's a little bit smaller. But for first impressions, I'm really in love with this Pashley. I'm so excited to have it in my collection. And if 10 years ago you told me that it was just around the corner, I would have been super excited. Now, before we end this video, however, this whole idea of like, I want to explore the secondhand market didn't stop at the Philip Lim. So of course it wouldn't end there. I am one of these people that just dives head in, goes all out, um, and it is probably much to my detriment. Um, but there's a second bag in here, and obviously you can see the brand here, um, but I'm really excited to show you guys this one as well. I ended up picking this up from Mercari, which is a marketplace that I sell on that I really like, um, but it isn't necessarily where you would turn to for more higher end bags or bags maybe that are harder to authenticate. Um, let's get into this bag. I'm so excited and I think I'm gonna be able to unwrap this like one-handed. This color, you guys, can you see? Oh my God. This color is absolutely to die for. Now this bag, this is the Coach Revel 24 in the sport blue. This bag was around last year. It's not an old bag. I just missed out on it. I saw it go on clearance and I'm like, you know, 
uh, maybe I don't need it or whatever. And then as soon as it was sold out, one of my favorite Instagram, YouTube, TikTokers, her, her um, handle is handbags to die for. Um, and I'll tag her below because she's fantastic and I love her content, but she has this bag in the sport blue and, and has made a few posts about like decorating it. I'm like, I need this bag. So it was one that I was keeping an eye out for and I saw one on Mercari. It was a little expensive for it having gone down in price significantly, but it was in perfect condition, still with the tags on, dust bag, everything, and the seller had fantastic reviews and I will say she wrapped it up perfectly, shipped it to me perfectly. Um, it was again one that I unboxed and inspected because for Mercari you only get three days to um, dispute a sale. But anyway, she included a sweet little note. Absolutely love her. I will link her shop below as well if you wanna check out. She has lots of different brands on her Mercari storefront. But anyway, um, I missed out on this bag when it was brand new in store and then regretted it very soon thereafter and so I'm very excited to get my hands on this bag. It is so gorgeous. Um, this sport blue is just one that I think they need to bring it back in like every shape and size because it is so fantastic. Um, a little you know spin around of the Revel 24. It is a little bit small. Uh, so <laughs> I guess the theme of my first second hand bag purchase is that I buy one that's too small to work for my work bag but too big for every day and then I buy one that might be too small for every day. Um, but I'm going to make it work because I love this bag. So anyway, um, the sport blue with silver hardware. It's got feet. It is in the genuine glove tan leather. It has the um, lock here and it is just, it's a stunner. What can I say? I mean, there's not much more to say. Um, it does come with a crossbody strap. which is blue leather with the silver hardware. <clears throat> this is the first bag of this shape and size for me, so I'm really excited to give it a go. And even though this bag ended up being more expensive than what it went on clearance for, I still think I got a great deal for a genuine glove tan leather coach bag from the coach retail. Um, so I'm really excited that I got my hands on this bag and I'm really excited to try out this style. How many times did I say I was excited in this video? <laughs> I think this was a really fun topic for me. Um, I'm really excited to reignite my love for the 3.1 Philip Lim brand. If you guys aren't familiar with it, please go check it out. They still have new and exciting things on their website. And in fact, there is a bag full price um, on Philip Lim's website that I am just lusting over. I think it's called the Moto Satchel. I will definitely insert a picture of it because it is just so rock and roll it's so unique in its shape and uh, the way it's like assembled I think is really interesting so definitely check out the brand and let me know what you guys think of uh, Philip Lim because I am just really impressed with everything about this bag. So my first delve into the secondhand market was a really positive one. I have no complaints about the Real Real or Mercari. Um, I think I will definitely be keeping my eye out on the Real Real for other bags um, that I've perhaps wanted in the past and that I missed out on. So anyway, y'all, I think that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me and for the outpouring of love and support I've gotten for this channel. It has been a really wonderful feeling and coming back to YouTube after taking a very long break to so many nice people has been just a breath of fresh air in my life. And I'm really appreciative of each and every one of you that says hello in the comments and that engages with my videos because it means a lot to me. For those of you that are new that have made it this far, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. It really helps me stay motivated to create this content, which I really enjoy doing. You can also, as always, follow me for more content on Instagram and TikTok at BVPDX. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.